All right. Now, this is the foundation of the church, not the hierarchy of the church. See, the Catholic... <laughs> The Catholic Pope had the gift right, but they didn't have the structure right. Where, and even the other, a lot of other apostolic movements didn't have the structure right. This is the foundation. This is what you have to find to stand on. And then that gift in you comes alive. See, I'm here for you to stand on. So your gift comes alive in a new way. I'm not here to be over you to tell you everything to do. I am not a good babysitter. No. Now, so let me end by this. So we are building for harvest. And, Chad, thanks, that's enough. And one of the things, and he used the same scriptures the Lord is giving me, we have to have new strength to build because we've all worn out from last season. How many feel worn out from the last season, see? It's okay. And so what the Lord's saying is, I'm going to give you time to gain new strength, I'm going to give you time to see what you're called to do. I'm going to give you time to find how you fit in the new season. I'm, I'm going to let your gift be liberated because I made you very unique. Now look at somebody and say, he is really talking about you now. <laughs> and we want your uniqueness, which is a portion of Elohim to be seen properly. That's in the earth realm. There is a portion of God that only you can reveal. I know my role, but there's a portion of God that only you can reveal. You were knit together in your mother's womb. Doesn't matter if you're a rape victim or what you were. And New Jersey, hear this. You were knit together in your mother's womb by him. This is what Psalms 139 said. He matrixed you inside your mother's womb. He put you together. He knit himself in you. And the moment you submit your spirit over to him, that starts coming alive. And the more you submit, the more he comes alive in you. Are you the one that's had, had to deal with some cancer? Stand up. Trish, put your hand on her. You put your hand on her, too, the one with the flowers. I've, I've had to deal with that, so I, I know that. I, I thought I was going to have to deal with it again this year. There is some word down in your bones that can come alive and become fire. See, the word of God goes deep into our bone marrow. It's quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword going down into your bone marrow. And right now, I activate that in Jesus' name. There's a word in you that is going to counteract this thing you're going through. Lord, we loose that word in her in Jesus' name. Now, so, we have to have individuals. We have to have people that represent ministries. We're all important. We have to have sinners. Somebody has to buy a place for us to get come to. 
and that's one of the reasons you want to give. It's because we got to keep connected. We got to keep moving forward. And then I realize you are special. You have a special life about you that God is working out right now. I mean, put your hand on somebody and say, He's working it out for you. Now, let me say this. He's putting you in other people's life to help work it out for you. He's putting you in other people's life so they can help you work it out. That's why God created woman, because man couldn't pull the garden off by himself. It said... It wasn't good for man to be alone. That is the word drought and desolation and barrenness. Man was making the garden barren, and the Lord said, I have got to bring a different side in here. He did not bring in someone to work for man. He brought in someone equal to man that was different in the way they impart things and the way they see things, and the way they cultivate things. I can still see my wife's face when I walked her out and I said, the first thing we're doing on this place that God has given us is he wants to build a garden. And she's a horticulturist and a master gardener and everything else. And I said, it was so desolate so awful looking and I said this is your assignment she said what will you be doing I said I'll be managing your assignment and providing for your assignment somebody gave me a word here yesterday when someone calls you Santa Claus, you pour into them. She, that was her word. It was a crazy word. Yo, it, I love crazy prophet people. She said, when they call you Santa Claus, you pour into the person that calls you that because God's about to give them something new. Put your hand on L. Now listen, I watch for that word. I watch for my word. I love that. That was a word.